everybody. Welcome to the Three Way Podcast. This is JP, Leaster 101. That is Lowe's Public Enemy. What's up? 59. Public Enemy 059. Public Enemy 0059. All those other motherfucking 59s. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure we have all that out there. Okay, thank you. Well, welcome to another edition of the Three Way Podcast. Going over your three favorite topics of pop, sports, and gaming. So we're going to want to go ahead and start off with uh, gaming first. I mean, not, not gaming. I'm sorry. I apologize. Sports. We're going to do sports because simply, uh, simply the the NFL was jam-packed this week. I'm talking about jam-packed. So we have a lot to talk about. So let's just start off with the major, major news that happened this week. OBJ, the Giants said, fuck you, and sent you to Cleveland Brown. So he's in Cleveland now. Um, he got traded for a first and a third. Uh, f- I-, I believe it's for, for the, this draft. Yeah, I, I believe, uh, yeah, there's a first from this draft. I think there's a second involved also. No, but that's, 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 I don't, I think that's if, if they make it to the playoffs. Oh, okay. It's I, conditional. It's, I think it's conditional. But he also brings to Cleveland a $90 million contract who cares the guy is big time god damn cleveland i mean uh people started I, calling the cops on cleveland fans because they were just celebrating okay. so well, i mean so wildly so let me ask you this uh so he, he got traded to cleveland yes um how many plays has he made in the playoffs I don't know. that silence answers it all for me uh obj yeah, i mean, feel it's overrated. overrated um i will give him this that eli manning is an old quarterback but he did beat the patriots twice Thank you, Eli Manning. Shut them the fuck up for a good while. And uh, you know, I, I feel like maybe that's that that could that was a hindrance for OBJ. But the fact that he went to Little Wayne's podcast and was talking shit about the Giants after they gave him a ninety dollar contract. Not only that, before they gave him a ninety dollar contract, he's over here uh, uh, with that with that girl at the hotel, you know, sniffing cocaine. Allegedly, it was white powder, guys. He was sniffing cocaine. I see what's wrong. With the I mean, guys no, because fight. you're representing the Shield. You say that all about Tom Brady and Gronkowski and Bill Belichick, right? Representing yeah. the Shield. I don't see a problem with a guy having some cocaine. Just like I don't see a problem, like an owner, going and getting getting some. <laughs> I'm not gonna be hypocritical. That's why you're saying that. I'm not shit. gonna be hypocritical. You're saying that. Shut the hell so, up. So I don't have a problem with OBJ doing a little something, something but, on the uh, side. Outside of the the distractions he brought to the team, he was an elite wide receiver. I will give him that, but he was injury prone. Uh, in the playoffs, he was immature. Uh, instead of going to practice for the playoffs at Green Bay, he decided to go to South Beach in Miami and take the whole receiving core with him. Uh, of course, you can go to Instagram. Yeah, what a you can great see that. Teammate. That's just stupid in my opinion. If you're trying taking, to win a Super Bowl, you got to be focused. to relax. You got to be drilled in. Um, like Tom Brady, I got to give him to that. Tom Brady's always focused when it comes to I don't know. I think this is a great trade for the Browns. It automatically. Oh, yeah. It automatically boosts it. Boosts uh, as as you can see, court. yeah, put, uh, puts them in as contenders. Everybody's already putting the Browns down as contenders. Uh, they've made some great moves as far as uh, building that offense around Mayfield. Yeah. Mayfield now has all the weapons that in he the world. Needs. To develop and become a great quarterback, if if for if for some reason that offense does not catch fire, you, you can lay it on Mayfield. Like ah uh, no, we can't do that because that he's coach had, he's had the that time coach to develop that coach had a hey, time man. to develop. He's only been there one year. What are you talking about? Yeah, and he's had that year to develop, and they always say that sophomore year. Is... Freddie Kitchens is the new head coach. Do you know Freddie Kitchens? Man, don't I don't blame know me. Don't blame that on me. That's. That's the front office when they had a perfectly good coach right there, and they decided to let him go. Hey, man, that's on the front office right there. I don't think it was a perfectly so good Mayfield, head coach. Mayfield has had the time. He now has the weapons around him. Yeah, he, has the, he Landry, can't complain. Who's one of the top five receivers, in my opinion, in the NFL. Um, he got OBJ. And he got that tight end who's uh, 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 Ninjoku. Yeah, Ninjoku. also really good. He has Kareem he has Hunt. two running backs. He has Kareem Hunt. He has Nick Chubb and Duke Johnson. So, San, I mean, uh, Cleveland is automatically a contender. Cleveland's rocking. They, they got the defense. You said they signed that. They just uh, signed Sheldon, Richard, uh, Sh- uh, Sheldon Richardson, who was basically the run stopper in Minnesota. They signed him to the, uh, the Cleveland Browns. They still got Miles Garrett. Yeah. Um, so they still got that cornerback uh, uh, um, that was really, really good, uh, the rookie. Yeah, you're um, right. You're right. So, I mean, they have a good team to make a run. This is it. This is it. Like, they went all Cleveland, in. Cleveland all the way, baby. Yeah. Shout out to the general manager for, for Cleveland 
Because Cleveland, this is not the Cleveland Browns that I know. <laughs> I'm used to the Cleveland that Browns like, like, oh, that's a win. That's a win on that on that day. Now, this ain't no, what's the quarterback from uh, Notre Dame? Uh, uh, oh, this ain't no Brady Quinn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't your Brady Quinn this Brown. No Brady. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't uh, your Brady Quinn Brown. Congratulations, Cleveland. Oh, no, who did they also they draft? Uh, uh, from, my, uh, uh, they drafted this, that Texas quarterback that Elias was all upon his mid, nuts. Uh, uh, Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> they, he the was, list goes on. Man. He, didn't they draft him? Yeah, no, the think, Browns did draft Colt I McCoy. I think they did draft. Him, yeah, because his daddy was like, "Don't play the last, the last game or something, or the, or the playoff game in college." Remember? Oh uh, yeah. Anyway, so but yeah, uh, Cleveland. Congratulations! Congratulations! And, I mean, this is big. This and, is big. Shoot, the Texans haven't signed nobody. Shoot, I might just jump. Well, I'm already. They on basically my traded cornerbacks with Denver, and and, and that was it. Yeah. And, and, Training quarterbacks. But back to Cleveland. Shout out to Cleveland. I've always liked their fans. Their fan base is always loyal. Uh, uh, you know, no bandwagoning. Not like I'm Houston jumping fans. on the bandwagon. Houston fans always bandwagon. I'm, buying that I'm going for y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I'm buying that um, Landry jersey. Unless y'all go against the Texans. Um, but uh, yeah, I wish y'all well. I, I do like Baker Mayfield. Uh, Baker Mayfield. I really do like I Baker like Mayfield. I like him a lot. Yeah, he has this moxie, as they say in football. Can't wait till uh, fantasy football. I'm picking yeah. him up. And another thing that occurred, which isn't close to home, the AFC South, is Nick Foles was signed by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, I, I kind of hinted at this about two weeks ago, uh, that this would occur, and sure enough, it did. Uh, it brings him a Super Bowl quarterback. Anything is better than Blake Bortles, y'all. Mm, cool. uh, Lowe's with a dinged up shoulders better than Blake Bortles. Thank you. <laughs> like, that's how bad Blake I Bortles pretty, was. Um, pretty good. So, you know, uh, they automatically upgrade that position. Now they can just focus because they already had a good offensive line. And they have a great defense. And they have a great running back. So all you need is wide receivers, and you need Nick a quarterback. Nick Foles is this time to prove it and stick it in Philadelphia's face for letting him go. This is your chance. Man. I wouldn't you say stick it to Philadelphia. Hell because, yeah, because because he's won them a Super Bowl, and yet he's the he one who got to go. He, here's the thing: he didn't take them to Bro, the Super Bowl. Don't matter. Carson Wentz. When took it came him to there. the playoffs, when it came to clutch yeah, moments, Nick Foles gave it to him. I mean, I wish him well. Except I wish against the Texans. I hope the he true, makes true, it to true. the AFC. I uh, hope he shoves it in Philly's face. He goes to the AFC wild card and loses. Uh, but that, that's as far as I, I, I'll, I'll root for him. Uh, another thing that occurred as well. Man, so many things happened in the NFL. Yeah, it's crazy. Antonio Brown got his bitch-ass tradey to Chucky in Oakland. Is it Oakland or is it Las Vegas? It's about to be Las Vegas. Is it Las Vegas? This, this year it's Oakland. This year it's Oakland. But No, 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 no. Because they signed. Okay, well, let, um, uh, Oakland. Uh, well, I can't say Oakland anymore. The, Ra- the Raiders signed a deal with Las Vegas on opening that stadium. So yeah. they're moving. This is their last year. Correct. So they're still Oakland. <sighs> but they're moving to Las Vegas. You're correct. So, but officially, they're still. So, Oakland. why don't we just call them the Raiders? We can do that. If Let's you just want. call them the Raiders because it's not Oakland or Las Vegas Raiders, just the Raiders. Chucky's team. Uh, it's Chucky's, Chucky's team. team. Uh, so, they got Antonio Brown. Um, Antonio Brown seems to be happy to be there. He took some cameras to go talk to David Carr, like show it off in public, which I thought that was really stupid. He had no need to do that. If you're trying to win, you, you don't have to freaking be careful. David Carr is like excited. And I would be too. He's a praying, hard- thanking God. Yes, oh, Derek. Da- not, yeah, Derek. Derek. I said David. Why'd you say David? I said David. Yeah, you lie. we still remember our, you know, the our, worst quarterback of all time in, our, in Texans history. Anyway, our uh, beloved first draft. Derek Carr. First draft Derek. Pick. Derek Carr Derek. Uh, was very excited. He's got a Hall of Fame wide receiver now. Uh, they let uh, Jordy Nelson go over the weekend. Yeah, but um, Jordy was always injured. And uh, I mean, I would still keep him. I mean, he slot receiver, man. Steady hand. Yeah, but they got a lot of good receivers in that squad, and now they're adding Ant- Antonio Brown. Uh, who are their wide receivers? They got a lot of young guys. Uh, who are their wide receivers, Lowe's? Quit bullshitting. They got a lot of good guys there. No, they don't. Um, but, uh, I mean, they have a great offensive line. I know that. They're oh, just... and then they picked up the left tackle, I believe, from oh, the Oh, yeah, Patriots. Trent Richardson from the Patriots. What? And, yes. Is that, that's not his name. That's his name, Trent Richardson. No, that's you, his name. That, you just... That... I'm not lying to you. His name is Trent Richardson. Let that's his see. name. Raiders. Fat check. Fat check, guys. Raiders. Anyways, Trent Richardson went to the Raiders. And uh, not only that... Um, they have what three first round picks? Cause they didn't trade that much for uh, Antonio Brown. They only gave a third round pick and a fifth round pick. They still have their three first round picks: the two from getting a uh, 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 rid of Khalil Mack and the one from Amari Cooper. So they have. 
picks this year uh, to be great. Not only that, they have one of the high picks. Uh, I don't know if they're going to keep with David Carr. If I'm John Gruden, I'm trying to get rid of the whole team. Uh, I'm getting rid of Derek Carr. Uh, maybe train him for a second pick. I believe um, it's Trent Brown. It could be Trent. Trent Brown, Trent Richardson, whatever. Point is, they got a new uh, 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 left tackle. They paid him a lot of money, too. Yeah, um, he used to be with the Patriots, played pretty well with the Patriots. It seems that all the Patriots, basically, you go to you go to New England for a all right pay, you win a Super Bowl, and then you leave New England and you get a huge-ass race. So that seems to be what everybody's doing. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of people leaving New England and taking huge contracts but that's how it is, and that's the kind of system. It just gets me excited because I like the Oakland Raiders. It's the Oakland. I like the Raiders uh, being good. It always adds more entertainment factor to the NFL. And not only that, uh, Antonio Brown being there and being the drama queen and and the diva that well, he is. Well, soon he'll be in Las Vegas, and I I, I can't wait to I see know, that. I know, dude. That makes I can't me wait like to see the Raiders in Las Vegas, seeing how they cope with all that distraction, with all these superstars. I, I mean, I think it just makes for good TV. Uh, I'm excited to see John Gruden, hopefully in the playoffs, because I love I love me some Chucky in the playoffs. Yeah. So yeah, pretty excited about that. And uh, the last thing that occurred in the NFL was uh, one marquee free agent was Le'Veon Bell, and he went to the Jets. It wasn't a big splash news. I don't think it was the best place for him. Uh, it was he, the place that offered him the, the most, most I believe. Yeah, him. and the most guaranteed. And it wasn't as much as he, if he would have stayed with the Steelers. So I really don't comprehend what he was trying to do. It looks like he lost this whole, I'm going to sit out a year. Uh, but, I mean. They, well, I mean, in the end, like, look at other guys like Earl Thomas, right? He, they, he got franchise tagged. Yeah. And ended up getting injured, right? So now he's screwed out. So, yeah, uh, Le'Veon might have not made the money he was looking for, but in the end, he made it through the year healthy, man. I uh, think that's a win on his end. Uh, yes, but if you're going to go for money. He got the contract that, you know, he was looking for. So Also, the, uh, I mean, the years-wise, he got a long-term contract. He didn't get, like, a one-year thing that was. Well, he got more guaranteed money. That's a fact. He got, like, 30-something guaranteed. Mm. So he's going to get 30-something million. Um. But uh, as far as NFL moving forward, uh, Earl Thomas signed with the Ravens. That was they offered him the most amount of money. Uh, so the Ravens got a playmaker at safety. Um, so the AFC got a lot stronger. Yeah, everybody thought that the Browns were making a move for Earl Thomas too. Yeah, if they would have been gotten, crazy. They gotten Earl Thomas. Oh man, that's it, man. Bye bye. Yeah, but um, that's pretty much what happened in NFL. You want to add anything? Uh, I love you, Tom Brady. Okay. Um, uh, do do we want to do you want to talk a little bit about NBA? I do not know. I hate the NBA. Oh, but if you want to talk, I about mean, it, um, I just want to get the biggest news is, like I said at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of this podcast, this is the reason why I'm pointing it out. I did say the Lakers would not make it to the playoffs, and if they did, they'd be in the <laughs> lose that eighth round. Well, they didn't even make it to the playoffs. Uh, they were what we thought they were, or what I thought they were, which is trash. Uh, LeBron James, um, you're not gonna win a championship ever again. I mean, it's his first year there. I don't give a crap. Every time, uh, no, no, people no. are expecting like crazy stuff. He to was stupid. That first year. He could have gone to any other. He could have gone to Oakland. I mean, Oakland, OKC. He could have gone. To the Rockets. He could have gone anywhere to win a championship if he wanted to win a yeah, championship. Yeah, he should have came to Houston. But see, then it, he, it would have been still James Harden's team. He didn't want to, he didn't, he wanted to build his own but his, team. Well, well, I mean, well, he chose L.A. He chose he Hollywood. And guess what? He didn't make it to the playoffs. So that's pretty much it. Um, all right, guys. So the next thing we're going to hit is gaming. Um, yo, 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 yo. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Lowe's take care of this one because Division 2 uh, released. Yeah, uh, uh, Division 2 is out. Uh, we've had some, uh, you know, uh, we tried out a bit on the betas. Me and uh, Jerks have uh, played a bit. Um, but it's out now, full release. There was early release, I think Tuesday, if you like pre order the game, uh, one of the special editions. What I'm hearing is positive things about it. Um, it's like people are pretty happy and. You know, they're right out comparing it to, like, the most other recent looter shooter, uh, which was Anthem, uh, and how Anthem feels incomplete. In the contrary, Division 2 is feeling pretty complete, like a full game, uh, has a uh, meaty uh, campaign, uh, has uh, some Ooh. end game in there, too, that's pretty... So people are, like, saying right now to get through the just the initial to level 30 to reach the end game, it's like 
25, 30 hours. So that's pretty meaty in itself just to get to the end game. And the end game is his own other thing. The multiplayer, the dark zones, I'm hearing good things about it. I'm going to buy this game. Um, I'm still debating whether Xbox or PS4, uh, but I'm buying this game. I will be streaming it uh, over the weekend. So if you're listening to this on Monday, go back to our Twitch channels and you can go ahead and uh, check out those streams. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, I, you know, hoping to team up with, with other people. And it's a looter shooter, right? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, like Destiny, all these games that have come after Destiny. Uh, where, yeah, you could team up, complete missions, you're building up your... How come you didn't say Anthem? Why, why, why didn't you put Destiny Anthem? came first. Oh, okay. Everybody copied Destiny. I mean... <laughs> uh, but yeah... Uh, R.I.P. Anthem. Yeah, uh, it's... Uh, I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah, because it has, like, you know, the whole RPG yeah. ML elements. It has the shooting uh, third-person element. <clears throat> so, uh, really hyped for it. I, uh, I'm hearing good stuff, uh, so I'm excited to jump in. All right, perfect, perfect. And then uh, you you were telling me about the Google Gaming announcement. Yeah, so I believe this uh, upcoming week is is that right, Jerks? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Google is having a, a conference, uh, basically uh, talking about their their venture into into the gaming industry. But I don't think it's just gaming industry; they're streaming as well. I assume so. It's because streaming that as is well. What everyone is moving towards too. So I I mean, I wouldn't I'm not surprised that Google is also going into that space. And I mean, Google has the money to really make something good here. So I I'm curious, uh, do I think there's room for another uh console competitor? Yeah, but is it hard to become that fourth like legitimate yeah. competitor? Yes, because there's been plenty of people that have tried and plenty of people that have failed. So. But I, I think right now this is the perfect market because everything is so monopolized. Mm-hmm. And I think people well, want... Not really. There's three large there's three. competitors. Yeah, that's but, a good but, but anti- let, let, let's be honest. I mean, we, Switch is considered for kids. The majority, I mean, no, we have se- it, but... It's it, selling more it, it's, than yeah. in the world right now, January and February, than but both PS4 it, and it, Xbox. From what I've seen, what, like if I walk out in the streets, I'm going to see kids with Switches. I'm not going to okay. see a lot of adults with Switches. Okay. Not saying that they don't buy them. I'm just saying mm-hmm. that's just the case. It's more a marketer, mar- marketed to, toward kids, Pokemon and all that. Like uh, Xbox and PlayStation, it's for, for adults. There's still room. There's a lot of room and there's a lot of games to expand. So I'm looking forward to it to see what but they yeah, announce. They, they gotta, they gotta come out, come out. And they cut them out firing, like yeah. firing. If they, they, they want to cut into the space, they gotta come out with a bang. And I'm talking, I'm not saying like has to be the best specs out there, but as of right now, these Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro are like a year, two years old, and so. You know, I would say something if they come out with a with yeah. a console, something with like top of the top end specs. Yeah. Uh, they showed the controller. I, oh no, someone got a uh, leak, a, a leak, a, a hold of the patenting that Google put for the controller. Beach cheese right? muscles, man. The patenting. Now, this is what as from the patent. But that can change. This, that's not. That's it not. It can. Safe. It can. And so from the patent, they designed what the Google controller would, would look like, judging from the specs on the patent, and they popped out that design, and it looks, meh. it looks, I don't know. I mean, but we said the same thing about the Xbox controller when the first Xbox came out. That's true. That, and uh, so we talked a lot of shit how it was big. And I don't. And if you guys remember, Duke, yeah. um, uh, Dreamcast had I, that horrible controller too. So, <laughs> with that big old hole so I mean I, I don't think the controller really matters I think it matters more about the gameplay and sure. how easy it is to play Like, and supposedly there's rumors that Sega is gonna like put a lot of their games only on the Google console Sega. which would be a pretty good get I mean if you get the Google console right out the gate and you have like exclusive I mean Sonic games that could mean something but the Sonic games make... are on Xbox on Xbox uh, Game no, Pass I, I know but like the new game a new uh, game Sonic would game? be exclusive to the oh Google. I see I see I mean, it's I, possible. I don't think that would be a good idea for Sega who has a bad uh, uh, bad rep right Within, now because uh, they haven't released much good stuff so but I would, yeah I mean I'm excited about it I'm gonna check it out we'll see what what happens? We'll yeah. give you all the details next week. And I'm pretty sure they'll they'll give some some people their chance to play it, review it, all that information. Oh yeah, they're gonna so they're, they're, they're open gonna it that. up to the press and yeah. let them try it out, and we'll see how we'll it see. is. And something else, uh, speaking about uh, uh, press and and, and uh, Google, uh, so for PC, 
uh, the Master Chief Collection will be coming out, uh, starting off with Halo Reach and then moving from Halo 1, 2, and 3. Uh, right now, it's just Halo Reach, if, if I'm correct. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty big news for PC gamers. Uh, so, it'll probably be better graphics, I would say. Yeah, um, I mean, they've already, uh, you know, the Master Chief Collection out for the Xbox, uh, you know, they've they've messed with it uh where it looks pretty good on the on the xbox one yeah uh you know enhancements even for the <clears throat> xbox one x 4k enhancements and now they're putting out reach and uh, otsd i be i believe they're just going for that nostalgia man um, straight so, up <laughs> i mean they're just giving the fans what they wanted because a lot of fans have wanted up on um, pc that and they wanted the other games that weren't on there so you know xbox just kind of like hey man let's give them what they want and uh oh there was even a, a thing that there there was like uh, something said like between the fans and uh, 343 that if they put those games or, or they put it on PC, they'll like give them pizza. And all of a sudden, like uh, 343 brought it up like, hey, remember y'all said this? And all the fans started sending pizza to 343's uh, uh, you know, building. And at first it was like, oh, you can see on Twitter, they're like, oh, thank you guys. You know, this is great. Okay, uh, then it's, it progresses to like, okay, there's a lot of pizza. This is kind of crazy. And then like, guys, can you please stop sending pizza? Like, <laughs> it got so crazy. Like, even after hours when they weren't there, pizza yeah. would be getting delivered. <laughs> and like, this is a nightmare logistically. Like, they yeah. were like, fuck that. No more pizza, bitches. Yeah, they, no more pizza. They seriously had to tell people to stop sending them pizza. Well, I, I look forward. I mean, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll come and play in Elias' computer. I, guess. I mean, because I already played all the Halos. But I you have beat, uh, Master Chief Collection. Yeah, I, I already beat all of them. You so. have it on the Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not You're going to get the new games on there. Like, well, not the new games, but the other games on there. But so. I, I'm excited so for it. So congratulations. Now, uh, you've been playing uh, yes. Devil May Cry. So over, over the week, uh, um, well, last week, Devil May Cry came out. Um, Devil May Cry 5 came out. And there was a lot of negative hype around it uh, due to the fact that uh, Devil May Cry 4 wasn't as great as the other ones. And then they came out with the DMC one. Uh, which it was a different uh, a company that came out with this game. Uh, speaking about Dante's Pass or whatever, um, and they didn't do so well. So everybody was like very cautious about this game. That that's a better way of putting it. Guys, yes. go and get this motherfucking game. I've been a Devil May Cry five for a uh, Devil May Cry fan for a long, long, long fucking time. I played it. It's the same engine as Resident Evil. The graphics are amazing. Gameplay style is back to the same roots. You play with three different characters with three different moves. Uh, di three different ways of doing things. Yeah, um, di di and three different loadouts. Yes, so uh, that's even great. It's all fit into one storyline. Um, and they start off right after Resident Evil 4. Well, uh, I mean, Resident Evil 4, Devil, Devil May Cry, Cry 4. Um, and it's the same engine. And <laughs> no, I know. I, I get it. Uh, it's I get the same it. engine. No, but Devil May Cry 4 starts off, you know, you still play as Nero, uh, but you also play as Dante. It's a great story. There is a twist. Uh, it's crazy. It's so good, but that's just... The game itself, the gameplay, um, the button layout is great. There's only one little thing that I don't like, which where every you can customize the button layout, I believe. Uh, well, I haven't tried that yet because just I in case you're not comfortable, I've heard that that that's one of the the the, pe the things that people are really like glad that it has. Is yeah. that uh, the, the I didn't know that to be honest. Yeah, like they say, oh, yeah, the the auto the automatic one is fine, like it's cool, but. You know, they switched it up and they like liked it better, you know? Yeah, so the, the R... The, well, starting off, when you start off, that RB button is fucking annoying if you want to just target one specific person. Uh, but other than that, everything is smooth. There's hardly any glitches. I've been playing for yeah. a while now. Uh, Cap, Cap, uh -huh, yeah, continue. Capcom did an amazing job. They, they hands down did an amazing Capcom job. Capcom has been hitting it yeah. out of the park since Resident Evil 7, uh, in my opinion. You know, they came out with that VR game. It blew expectations. Uh, they've revamped Resident Evil and put out Resident Evil 2. Exceeded expectations. Monster Hunter World exceeded expectations. Devil May Cry 5 now. Ex it, like, it's just, it's yeah, and like just, just about that, just the graphics and the gameplay, it's so smooth. Um, they have this thing now where like, because um, in, in, the, in, the, in the game, you know, all three characters fight at the same time. Mm -hmm. So they have this thing now where if you look, because because you, when you're fighting, the other person's fighting too. Oh, okay. If you finish first and you look, they're fighting and you can see their styles and you can literally just sit there and watch them play. <laughs> it's crazy. And then like, there's sometimes where you all meet up 
uh, um, I, I, uh, where you all three players meet up and you face all these enemies. And that was really fun too. Uh, I loved it. Uh, the replayability is awesome. To play it over and over again, it's not a hassle. It's actually fun. You want to learn how to get good. You want to learn how to do these stylish moves um, and how to each control each uh, a weapon. Um, the new weapons are great. They brought some old ones. Uh, the Not only that, I think the fact that they stuck with the story and they stuck to their guns and they were like, we're going to, after four, we're still going to continue with this with Dante. And it's just a hit. It was, it was just a home run. Hands down. So, go get this game. If you're a gamer, out of 10. you need to play this game. Out of, out of 10. 10, in my opinion, nine out of 10. Okay. Nine out of 10. What's the wrong one point off for? I don't like that RB shit. Well, you, it's controller layout, so it's 10 out of 10. Yeah, I shouldn't so have to change it. Change the controller layout and it's 10 <laughs> out of 10. Um, all right. Uh, we're going to go straight into pop, right? Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. pop. Pop. Uh, well, uh, the the really That's big news that came out, which was kind of controversial. I don't think it's controversial. I, I thought it was the right move. Is uh, James Gunn is back as a director of Guardians of the Galaxy Three? Ooh. They had just bought the script from him. They were they, they basically. I think in, in Disney was just like let's just wait and chill till all these motherfuckers die down, all these bullshit ass motherfuckers die down, mm. and bring back. I think Gunn. they started trying to see what it would be like with another director, and once they started seeing that it wasn't going as they thought, they're like, you know what, this isn't whoever we have in mind. I don't know. Did they ever name a replacement or no? I don't think they did. They probably tried oh, to keep it on DL. Yeah, expectations were so high. Yeah, so I think they just things were not going as they liked, and they're like, let's get this motherfucker back in here. And thank God, because that gives me hope for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it now. Like, now I'm just, I'm okay with it now. Because at first I was like, ah, Disney doing their bullshit, but now I'm just like, all right, I'm okay with it. So I'm happy to see James Gunn back, yeah, uh, well, back at the helm. Speaking of uh, uh, Marvel. Uh, and Disney. <laughs> did you see the... Uh, uh, the trailer for uh, Avengers. Avengers. Uh, Avengers. Yes, I did see. I like the new costumes, by the way. Very American. Uh, the, with the white and yeah, blue and the red space suits. The yeah, space yeah, suits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really like super it. cool. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. They, they got show, me super hyped. Yeah, and if if Elias puts in the background, you'll see that oh uh, Thor Thor's over here with uh, Brie, Brie Larson as Captain Marvel, and uh, he likes that girl. And because uh, that's what he says in the clip. Oh yeah, yeah. Where oh so you know what? There wasn't a love interest in Captain Marvel. Uh, and I believe I have a feeling just from the trailer that they're gonna try and do some love interest kind of stuff. I with really like, don't give a Thor. shit. I don't give two shits I mean, about the love interest. I, I'm interested in that, man. I really don't. I want don't some give steamy. A, I really don't give a shit. You know, Norse god with Captain love making kids, powerful. Yeah, I'm all in, man. <sighs> I'm all in. I'm not. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, what, what it, is her national? What is her like? Well, the she's blood. She's Cree. Cree. Okay, Cree. Well, she's not Cree, but she has B Cree blood running through her. Cree and Norse god, bro. Come on, Norse Cree. Norse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I, 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 it was badass. It was a badass I'm trailer. Hyped. I'm hyped up. It comes out next month. Next month. So I mean, oh it, April. Tw uh, if I'm correct, April 26th, Elias. 24th. 26th, 24th. Anyway, yeah, it's going about to come out. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Another trailer. Yeah. So, speaking of trailers, uh, we got to see somewhat of a full clip of Aladdin. Yeah. Um, of a uh, new, new, new trailer. For new Aladdin. trailer for it. Uh, I liked it. Eh. I liked it. Um, I was, you know, I saw Will, the Will Smith part, and I, I liked it. I, I was very skeptical when they first showed Will Smith, and I was like, huh? But after seeing the trailer and seeing as seeing it all as a cohesive, I liked it. The one part I didn't like was when they're in the magic carpet ride and they're singing. It's just kind of like, you know. Oh, how new? No, as someone who like loves that original soundtrack and those voice actors that originally did it, I still watch that damn video where they go on Good Morning America, I think, and they sing it. And they're all old. Yeah, but they, they're still like singing. They still sing it. Oh my can, god, so they can well. still sing. And then you hear. He was like, "Don't you dare close your yes. eyes." So I was like, "God damn!" Yeah, I was like, still "Oh got my it. god, they still got it. They still got it." And so yeah, and now I see these guys, and don't get me wrong, they're they're. They they sing pretty well, but they're just not the original. And and it just that little thing there. But you know what? Who grew up with that original. Yeah, soundtrack, but you know what? Kinda, uh, this this will this will be more for the newer generation. Of, of course, kids. of course. So maybe that's the Latin that they grow up with, and they'll have that luxury of, of because man. But I me, mean, you know that original sound so good. No, honestly, take all that out. The one thing that made Aladdin was Robin Williams. 
his presence in that movie alone made the difference. Hopefully, Will Smith can bring some of that aura because he's not going to bring the complete, but he, some of that not, aura. He's not going to copy it. He's trying to bring his own interpretation of it, and, and I'm glad. Don't try to copy Robin Williams because you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it, um, yeah. But uh, I'm excited to see what um, uh, how, what his interpretation is. And he acknowledges it. Like, you know, he's posted multiple times, like, wow, the... You know, I got to fill, you know, these shoes and Robin Williams left, uh, you know, big shoes to fill. And, you know, so he acknowledges that, yeah, maybe he's not going to do a Robin Williams like performance, but hopefully it fits in well with the rest of the movie. But I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see. Like, I mean, I, 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 this I'll see it. Hype me up. I'll see it. I'll yeah, see yeah, it. No I'll doubt. See it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, another thing that happened uh, this week, uh, Captain Marvel made. Five four hundred fifty five million globally. Now yeah. that is pretty good news pretty because well. to me it was a flop. Uh, it was not Disney's best movie at all. Uh, it was. Uh, no, I don't think it's their best Marvel. I, I would put it in the middle I, of Marvel. I, I would rather watch Iron Man the first one, which is which is kind of slow. And it's oh, but Iron Man one. Is Iron Man the first one, like that's like in my it's, top. Is my top is tier. better than than yeah. hers. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to say. I I did not really enjoy it. Um, the reason people are hyping up the 455 mil, which, I mean, congratulations to everyone yeah. on, on Captain Marvel. But the reason people are hyping it up is because there was so much hate being thrown at the movie because there's a female protagonist, I think. Like, people no, were, like, I think more, review bombing it, and they haven't even seen the movie. No, I like, think what happened was Brie Larson coming out and opening her mouth. Um, kind of did that. If she would have just shut the fuck up and let the movie be, uh, I think it still would have been the exact same. Because that movie is not, is not, and this is someone who just tells you brutally honest how it is. It's not that great. Wonder Woman, I feel, was better yeah, than Wonder this Woman. Wonder Woman is a better and movie. And Wonder Woman was not that great to me either. Uh, Wonder Woman was pretty bad. Uh, so, that just goes to show you, like, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's not that great. They try to push agenda in there, as Disney always does. They're known for that. Uh, I, I mean, but shout out to it. It's not really a flop because they got 455 million gold. Right, yeah, true. So that's not a flop. That's <laughs> you winning. So in other words, this is like, here, here's a piece of shit. 50, uh, 500. It uh, wasn't five, a bad movie. 500 million. Oh, we'll take it for it a piece of shit. It wasn't a bad movie, but it, it could have been better. It was overhyped. Uh, whoever directed it was a dumbass. There and were two was, directors. And if, no, it, and if it was, was a female a director. oh, stay. One female, one male. Oh, the ghost, go figure. Um. So you you and that's and then on, on but one female director did a uh, Wonder Woman. That woman that yeah. movie to me was badass. Yeah, and but, I, I I was hating on DC, but Wonder Woman was like badass. I wouldn't say it was badass. It was okay. Nah, it was. You're badass. you overhyping it. Stop overhyping. It was things. badass. You overhyped everything. You Wonder overhyped, Woman was badass. You overhyped him and he lost. Uh, the point is, uh, the the movie itself, uh, the graphics were great, uh, but. Nah, I, I didn't see. I didn't even like the I didn't, CG. I didn't. I didn't. I, I kind of liked it. Uh, the best part was where she's, she's tearing up the yeah, ships. Yeah, yeah, that's the best part. That's CGI. Yeah, but everything else, there's so much other CGI. So you're gonna tell like, me, young Samuel Jackson? Okay, that was pretty good. Okay. Samuel Jackson carried that movie. Yeah, he, I would say he carried that movie. That and the fucking that guy. that and Marvel. <laughs> that and just Marvel stuff because uh, Captain Marvel's not really a known character Marvel character anyway so that movie wasn't going to be as great but to be this bad I, I, I expect more. it wasn't bad but it was all I, right. I think they're all putting right. other chips on the table on April 26th 24th oh, where uh, Endgame, Endgame uh, takes care of all oh that oh my god so, yeah guys this has been our show tell us what y'all thought tell us what y'all think about Thank the freaking watching. movies about the trailers let us know yeah please uh, uh, please click the the bell uh, ring the bell like and subscribe also we are on Anchor uh, iTunes Spotify uh, Apple, Facebook Apple Podcasts Apple Podcasts Facebook Twitter Insta uh, we yeah, all over the place, y'all. Follow us on uh, Twitch.tv slash uh, Twitch. The Three Way Podcast. Yeah, stop following. Po- What's her name? Pokimane. Po- whatever. Stop following her. She's annoying as fuck. Has no no content. You know what I mean? Follow us. We have content. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, guys, it's been our show. Thank you so much for uh, liking and subscribing and supporting us. Follow PewDiePie. What? <laughs> Who's that? Sub sub to PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet. All right. Thank you, guys. We love you. Peace. Peace. That was a good show.